There are a ton of Spotify settings that can either make or break your song's release. So here's 16 of them, how to fix it so that you can get more streams and more royalties. And make sure you stay to the end because there's this one setting that most artists skip and it's costing them a lot of royalties. So the first setting I like to update is inside of my distributor, which is DistroKid. And once my song is scheduled for release, I'll click on the song and there's a little part right here, a little setting that says plain lyrics. And this is where I'll copy and paste my lyrics inside here. And then I'll click, I've read the agreements. I'll click save lyrics. And then once that's done, the next thing I'll do is I'll sync the lyrics. All right, so those are two of the steps I do right away. Because when I'm in Spotify and listening to a song, like let's say I'm listening to my song, Save You, if I click on this microphone, that way my lyrics are in here and fans can go along with them. So those are the first two settings you want to update with all of your songs. The next setting is in our Spotify artists dashboard. And again, if I click on music and I click on upcoming, because if you wait 24, 48 hours, this is when your song will show up here. And the next thing I want to do is I want to pitch my song for release. And as you can see here, the next song that I have coming out, it says, um, you've already got a pitch here. You've already got a pitch because I've already pitched this song. And if I click on these three dots, this is where I can click view playlist pitch. And that's where I fill out all this information so I can pitch this song to Spotify curators so that I can get on editorial playlists, but I can also trigger the release radar. Okay, our last song that came out, um, we didn't get any um, editorial playlists, but as you can see, in the last 38 days, 47,000 streams came from release radar, and that's because we pitched it. Okay, so you got to pitch it. That's number three. Number four is, is of course, the canvas. All right, you got to add a Spotify canvas. And you can do this before or after the song's released. So if I click on music and I click on upcoming and I can click on down to business, see where it says here, it says canvas and I click manage. It looks like I need to add one here. So I haven't added one. So I click on add and then I'd click on this plus and I'd go to wherever my video is. And that's a vertical three to eight seconds long um, video. MP4 needs to be the files, what I always use for a quick little three to eight second video. Number five is your Spotify marquee. So if you click on campaigns and that's where you want to run an ad and you click on marquee and this is where you would create a campaign for your song. Um, it, if it's already out, you can still do it. Like the song Battleground is already out and I have six days left to retarget my fans and run an ad. All right, this is really important. Or I have a new song coming out and I can set these up for when this song releases. And this is more of a retargeting strategy, but super important that you set that up. Number six, and it's right here, is discovery mode. Now you wanna make sure all your songs are added to discovery mode because you get a massive lift in songs, okay? Um, even when I look on July from my last campaign, I can see that I got 4,000 new listeners all right, that wouldn't have streamed my songs before. Look, the number of listeners who hadn't streamed your music anywhere on Spotify in the last two years. So just this last month, I got 4,000 new listeners. All right, so that's huge. Number seven is your artist pick. And so where you do that is you click on view profile on the top left here. And then you click on this little pencil right here where it says artist pick. And I click edit. And what I can do is, is I can click cancel. I want to click edit here and where is it? Um, and I click on this X and I can remove this instead of doing merch. I can now select a song. So let's just say um, Battleground. Let's see if that'll come up. There is my new song. Boom. And I can just say um, new song out now. Then I click save. You can rock, rock merch here if you want as well, but I don't want that image. So let's change that edit image. Save. And now I've updated that. So you can have merch there. You can have a playlist. You can have a song. But we're talking about music specifically right now. And so I want to promote the new song that just came out with my homie Sam Tenez. All right. The next one is update header photos. So if you want to let people know that something new is happening, you want to update your header, header photo here. And so, again, you just click on this pencil and then you would just click update header and 
image. And if you're ever trying to get the sizing right, it tells you right here on what the header image must be. And so I just always go to canva.com and I click on custom size and I do the 2660 by 1140. And then I just drag my image in here and then that's how I can size my images properly. And then you also can update your avatar image as well to update to whatever the latest song is. All right, I've got my latest new album in there right now. Number nine, as far as your settings, is adding the song to a playlist. And so I have my own playlist that I've been promoting. And so I'd click here on search. Um, I'd go to manifest, battleground, again, because this is the latest song. And I'd click on it. I'd click on these three dots right here. And I'd click add to playlist. And so I want to add this to my, this is manifest playlist. Boom. Okay, so now that's been added to the playlist. Now, I want to go, if I go to the actual, um, let's go here to my actual playlists. Let's click playlists. So here's my This Is Manifest playlist that I just added the song to, and it's probably going to be at the very bottom here. And so what I can do is I can drag this to the top. All right, so that way it gets the most stream. So when I'm running ads or something like that to this playlist, right, copied link to playlist, that's where I would run an ad to it. That way this song is getting the most um, streams. The next setting that you want to update is your about page. And so, I, again, I'm in my artist.spotify here, and I click about, and then this is where I want to update photos. Maybe you don't have any photos of you, but when I'm checking out a new artist, I'm curious to what they look like, what's their vibe or whatnot, so I update the, the, the photo gallery here, the image gallery, and add some cool photos of you performing. I also want to update my bio. You can talk about you, talk about stuff. Right now, I just have a link right to my store. And then number 11, you want to update all your social media settings. Okay, so you've linked your Instagram, your Twitter, your Facebook. I don't know if they, I don't think they uh, have YouTube. You can do sound better, your Wikipedia page if, if you want. It's interesting that they don't have a uh, YouTube on there, but I have those other social media settings right there. Number 12 is any live events that you got going on. I currently don't tour, but you want to add your live events and connect that so people can find out about your shows. And then number 13 is under video and visuals here. You want to add clips. Now, not everybody has this, but this is where you add like your little shorts, your little reels and stuff. So if I click upload clip here, it'll allow me to upload a short that's uh, shorter than 30 seconds, okay, longer than three seconds. So it has to be between three and 30 seconds. And so normally what I love upload here is all my best performing posts on um, Instagram or TikTok. And so what I'll do is, is um, oh, here we go, reacting to my song going number one. Okay, there's my video there. So I've uploaded it and now it wants me to tag the song that this is under. So I'm going to do learning how to be human so that way people know. And then does your song contain explicit content? No. Click next. I accept the terms and conditions. Post. Couldn't load your clips. Retry. So maybe it is too long. That could be. Oh, there we go. Now it's going. It's processing. So let's see if it hopefully it doesn't give me an error. But that's another step that you need to do. Now this is brand new and we just started doing this through DistroKid, it's beta, but that's music videos. And so we uh, we partnered with DistroKid and that's allowed us to distribute our music videos to Spotify. Now I don't know where people are finding these yet or how that works, but if I click on my artist name and let's just see singles, EPs, because normally it would have, I don't even see the clips on here, which is interesting. Um, sometimes maybe it's on my phone only. Maybe I'd have to check on my phone. That's probably where it is because the clips are normally on the phone too. But it looks like now Spotify is getting into the music video world, but this uh, was all connected through my distributor. So you'll have to check with your distributor to see if that is available because I am I distribute my music videos through DistroKid. And so that's what's allowed me to do this. Now, the last two tips I want to share with you is in artist.amazon.com. So you can log in and claim your profile there. This is where you click claim an artist. But when you have new releases here on the left, you click on that and you can also pitch these songs to editorial playlists. So I'm going to, I can pitch this song, um, Battleground, that I did with my friends. Why are you pitching this song? Um, this song is gaining a lot of traction as it's a massive collaboration with Unsecret. 
Sam Tenez and Manifest. We are all promoting this song huge and it's crushing. Would love your support, Amazon. Thank you. And then what's the genres? I'll probably put alternative. Uh, alternative rock if it's in here. Alternative rock. Alternative hip hop. Probably those two. Original. Does this song have lyrics? Yes. Language is English. Click next. Um, who do these artists sound similar to? Oof. Um, well, I should probably go to, if I go look on Sam Tenez's page and I can see who does he get compared to a lot. Um, so fans also like Zade Wolf, Unsecret the Score. Okay, so I'll probably, so I'll probably do go here and go Zade Wolf. He shows up. I think that's what's. Why is that showing? Well, it's probably because. Is it? Yeah, it's this one. And then I'll probably do um, Lincoln Park for me. Because there's the three of us is on here. And then I'll probably do the score for Unsecret. Where are most of your listeners? United States. And then set the mood. I'm going to say dark, um, intense, and motivational. And I'm going to say, I wouldn't say happy, not hard and heavy. I can say workout studying. Next. And now this song, I just click submit. And now that's been pitched. Now I have one more bonus tip I want to share with you, but before I do, I want to make sure that you know about the Song Launch Checklist. I wrote this book so that it can go over dozens more other promotion and checklist items that you need to make sure that your song is successful. I gave you about 15 plus here, but there's so many more things that you need to go through. There's a whole bunch of bonuses that come with this book and we got a crazy deal on it right now. I'll put the link below this video. Now, the last setting that you wanna do to make sure that you get paid royalties and that you earn your money is to register your song with a publisher admin that can collect your publishing royalties. If you distributed your song with CD Baby or DistroKid or TuneCore, for example, I use DistroKid, um, you need that, that's to, they'll pay you for the master side of it, but you also got to get paid for your publishing. If you wrote on the song, right, which I'm assuming you did, you wrote the song most likely, well, then you want your publishing royalties and you earn publishing royalties for every stream and every download of your song, but those will not get collected unless you set it up. So TuneCore has a built-in um, pub admin and so does um, CD Baby, but I personally used SongTrust, which is a third party. Um, it's just songtrust.com. You can set it up there and you can register your songs there. This is different than you registering your song with a BMI or ASCAP or CSAC, or if you're in Canada, SOCAN, okay? That is different. Okay, these are going to collect all your mechanicals and your publishing royalties from all your streams. Okay, so this needs to happen on top of registering your song with your performance rights society. Peace.